What a great start. What more can I say? Even got trolled. On oh, even got trolled on YouTube. What about the part where you slide? You slide this frame up a little bit, and then you you show the comment where you call me an uneducated bootcamp salesperson. You don't want to show that on your homepage, do you? It's right here. That's your comment. You know, I've always wondered if these videos that I make on YouTube complaining about corporate actually make a difference. So I did a little bit of research, and it turns out that these videos do have an effect on some companies, and those companies are righting their wrongs, sort of. And we're going to take a look at that today. We're going to take a look at three CEOs from three different companies that I've pointed to in previous videos, and we're gonna see what they're up to now. We're gonna see if they've improved, we're gonna see if they've changed their opinion, we're gonna see if they're treating their employees a little bit better, and um, I think you might be surprised to see some of the results. This channel is making a difference. I'm not just ranting on the internet, at least not 100% of the time. All right, guys, before we jump in here, I put a lot of research into this. Just do me a solid. Go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. Promote this through the algorithm so it gets some visibility. And if you don't like these videos, double smash thumbs down. Duh. The first CEO we're going to look at, his name is John Bowie. I made a video about him before, uh, January 12th, 2021. Smug CEO brags about how he tracks his workers. Man wrote like a friggin' novel about himself and everything that he can do for you and um it's like a, it's like an e-commerce company or something they have a page about how they do great website design really website design how can you claim that i didn't even know these buttons were up here until i accidentally moused over it but let's pause right there he did make that change you took my you took my free advice and you made that change so if we go to this website right now we can see up here he changed his buttons to be white he did listen you should pay me for that but you know you can have it i i understand um he however did keep his giant 10 page novel about himself on the page but we did we did make a difference on his website hopefully you're getting some more clients there john now he did have a youtube channel this is it right here he had a, a few more videos on here but he deleted a bunch of videos and then he turned off comments but he left the like dislike ratio bar as you can see uh, the video where he's talking about how he's gonna get a 65 inch monitor so that he cannot watch his, his employees. Like, he took that video down. This video that I'm reacting to. The first time, we've, we've always had multiple offices and they've always just slightly been on different start and end times. He's got, he's got his uh, creepy black rubber gloves on and stuff. Yeah, he, d he deleted this video, but uh, it does look like he took some advice. The next CEO we're gonna take a look at, his name is Sam Beisla. I know a lot of you guys are familiar with Sam Beisla because he thinks that interns should not be paid. He thinks that his interns are there to learn and they have no business making any money if they have to learn what to do. And I've made a few videos about this Sam Beisler guy before, and then he eventually saw my video and he responded, you know, I made a video about that. Sam Beisler responds about why interns should not be paid and he tries to defend why free work is good for you and him. Um, so I figured we'd follow up and see what he's up to these days. And it turns out Sam Beisla on LinkedIn is still the same old Sam Beisla posting spaced out motivational things on his page. But he did post something a week ago. This post will get you remote work from home opportunities, part time and full time. Comment below if you need one. What does that even mean, Sam? What are you doing? How does your LinkedIn post give people remote jobs? Are these jobs internships or are they paid? What's going on here? You don't even say what kind of jobs you're offering. You're just saying comment below. And I'd like to call you out here again, Sam. You're saying comment below, which perpetuates your post through the algorithm, which promotes your page on LinkedIn. So you're trying to big brain these people by saying, hey, let's, uh, I got a job opportunity for you. Just comment down below and your gaming LinkedIn's engagement system, so they push you. My team will share a form that you can fill explaining your preferences, post that we will match with the requirements with our database, and you will be connected with the right opportunities. What opportunities, Sam? What sort of jobs are you offering? You're not saying anything. Also, tag someone who needs such opportunities. Again, you're trying to game the LinkedIn algorithm here. I can see straight through your BS, Sam. And if you are a company looking for such resources, let us know. And then a bunch of these people that I guess don't know any better are leaving comments saying, interested, interested. I'm interested, I'm interested. Do you guys not understand you're just giving this man free promotion on LinkedIn? I highly doubt that he has jobs for you. but. He is giving you a Google form that you can fill out, and this is what that Google form looks like. Modern team, applications for candidates and companies. So this man is just collecting information from people on LinkedIn. He's getting your name, 
He's getting your email, he's getting your phone number, he's getting your LinkedIn profile. He's just making a database of a bunch of his followers. I hope you guys are okay with that. Seems a little bit like he's just using this as a way to collect emails so that he can further use that to uh, email you guys later if something ever happens to his brand. And he posts the same thing. Hi, please fill this requirement form. Our team will evaluate the requirement and get in touch with you accordingly. Now, who knows if this actually happens or not? There's nobody following up with him here. Look at how much engagement this has generated on Sam's post here. What are you hiring for? What are you recruiting for? We don't know, Sam, but this seems a little bit sketch. You know, I pretended to offer jobs on LinkedIn too as the CEO of Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and Amazon, because <laughs> you can change your titles to whatever. And I got banned from LinkedIn, Sam. How come you're still on here? I'll link this form for you guys. Uh, down below so you guys can check it out if you're interested in a job i guess all these poor poor naive people thinking that they'll actually get a job by engaging with this post so sad somehow sam has now 267,000 followers on linkedin I always forget his education is so funny proudly dropped a master's degree in psychology didn't go for the degree and marks don't matter anyways okay well then how come you're asking for education when you hire people I never attended a regular college. Down here, it looks like you did attend a regular college. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like we've made much of an impact on Sam Beisel. He's still looking for unpaid people to build his company up because you're learning, right? The last company we're going to look at is PropLogix. I've already made a bunch of videos about PropLogix. They're the company that makes these year-end wrap-up videos where it just shows their employees dancing around, acting like a bunch of children. And, you know, I, I made an entire corporate cringe video about them, how they bought a $10 million building when they could have just let everyone work remote, but they needed, you know, that, that tax deduction, that business expense. I mean, I see what you're doing, Jesse Bider, the CEO. We're going to get to you too. Anyways, they saw this corporate cringe video that I made about them and they started calling me an uneducated, self-employed boot camp salesperson which they've since all deleted because that wasn't very professional of them, and you know. If we go to their website, it turns out that they have another year-end wrap-up video with the same amount of cringe, and I'm actually featured in that video. They shouted my channel out, so let me shout you guys out again. One thing I'd like to note before I hit play is that they've moved all of their videos off of YouTube now onto this platform called Wistia, which is like their own personal hosting website, which... I don't know if they are doing that because they don't want me to find it because this video isn't on their YouTube channel anymore. It's just on their website. But anyways, here it is. I like how they're just doxing people in the video with the first frame. Woo! Yeah, come on. 2020. No matter what, we kept our head up. Let's go. Started this year off. It was so thrilling. Had high hopes and we bought a big building. Even had a slide. Hey, there's the slide that I was mentioning. I could only find pictures of it from a news article, but that little, uh, this black thing here is a ball pit. She's about to fall into a ball pit. Then it had an arcade. An arcade. Still as cringe as I remember. What a great start. What more can I say? Even got trolled. On oh, even got trolled on YouTube. What about the part where you slide? You slide this frame up a little bit and then you you show the comment where you call me an uneducated boot camp salesperson. You don't want to show that on your homepage, do you? It's right here. That's your comment. Uneducated self-employed. It's it's very convenient how you chop that off for the video. You don't want your clients to see that part, do you? I see what you're getting at here. But hey, Prop Logics, I appreciate it. Thanks for the shout out. That's very, very nice of you. On YouTube, no doubt, yeah, we're cringy, but we're so proud. Moved in the building. Yeah, we're cringy, but we're so proud. Building, oh, what a trip. Less than a month later, COVID hit, yeah. Ha, it was completely empty at that. It was completely empty, except for the part where they make IT and finance still come in. We'll get to that in a second. Time we said so long to assembly. 100. Are they doxing more people? Oh, looks like they left their Slack channels open. We can see emails. That's cool. 167. Oh, we're doxing more people. Did all these people agree to be on this video? Employees working from home, but we did it as a team. No stress, no drama. Working in pajamas to have such a ride. Why didn't you let these people work from home to begin with? I don't understand prop logics. Why did you need a, a, a global pandemic to let people work on their computers at their house? Missing honor, accounting and IT. Accounting and IT still came in the office. We stayed in the office, home alone style like trust. We got this. 
I'm gonna be honest, the beat's actually pretty good. I mean, the lyrics, eh. But like, if it was just like instrumental, I think that's actually a pretty solid song. So we got this brand new website. They've redone everything. Nothing about the reading program that they offer where you have to read a certain amount of books and then you get a raise and you have to write a book report just like you're in grade school. They took that all off, um, but you can find out about that on Glassdoor if you're real curious. So the dude on the left is the CEO of PropLogix. His name is Jesse Bider. And as I was doing a bunch of research on Jesse Bider, I discovered that he has a YouTube channel where he showcases how rich he is. For example, this is a video where he takes his daughter for her 18th birthday on their private jet to the Bahamas or the beach of some sort. And he just leads a very, very privileged, rich AF lifestyle, which I think is pretty funny because he pays his employees kind of low, uh, basically under, under the market. It's like junior web devs get paid 41K to 44K a year and the rest of his positions that he's offering right now they pay like 15 bucks an hour i thought it would be fun to kind of compare how much it costs to fly his private jet because if you don't know flying private jets or even owning a private jet costs a lot of money and i thought it would be fun to compare that cost to how much he pays his employees so the first thing we have to do is figure out what jet is his. And if you don't know anything about aviation, you can find the tail number on the aircraft, which is N906KB, and it will show you what model aircraft it is, what business owns that aircraft, and you can even see where the aircraft goes, and you can kind of figure out uh, how many hours they're flying each year. So I did all that, and I discovered that Jesse Bider here owns a Phenom 100. And the number here is N906KB. We can see that here from this screenshot, N906KB. So if you figure out what that is, it's a Phenom 100. How much does it cost to operate a Phenom 100? To fly 200 hours a year, it costs roughly $471,000. Now that is quite a bit of money, but this is counting the crew and the crew training. But the CEO, Jesse, is the crew and he knows how to fly it so we need to deduct these costs so we'll take 471,000 and we will deduct 104 682 and we'll deduct another 13 so it's going to cost $343,000 a year just to fly this airplane for roughly 200 hours so if we take this and we divide this by 200 we can see that it costs $1,715 an hour to fly this jet. So let's go back to the Glassdoor salaries here, and we can see that the junior web dev makes 41 to 44,000 a year. So let's take that, let's put 44,000, and let's divide that by how much it costs to fly his plane for one hour. So if he flies his jet for 25 hours, he has paid someone an entire year's salary. So again, I think this is an interesting thing to think about as the CEO, right? That's the CEO advantage. His company, his money, his business expenses, he can do whatever he wants, right? I'm not, you know, before anyone calls me a socialist, I'm not saying that these employees here are entitled to any of his money. I just think the difference in lifestyle is um, large, to say the least. If I was working at PropLogix and I discovered that my CEO had a private jet that cost $1,715 an hour just to fly... I would be pretty motivated to get the fuck out, honestly, uh, to know that every hour I'm getting $15 and he's paying $1,700 just to fly his private jet to the Bahamas, which, by the way, he was just there yesterday, and I'm going to show you. So I thought that was funny. Actually, to own one of these private jets, it costs, you know, between $2.8 in like $1 million. Like this is one, a 2010 Phenom 100, which is the aircraft that he owns. You can see that here, $1.8 million, $1.7 million. Uh, costs a lot of money to own one of these private jets here. So anyways, I plugged in his tail number from his Phenom 100 into this website called FlightAware. And when you do that, you can see all the places that they've created flight plans for. And you can see just on April 5th, he flew from Sarasota, Florida, to Nassau, the Bahamas. And he's actually coming back from Na Nassau, the Bahamas today, April 7th. And you can see how long their flight durations were. So um, 46 minutes, 55 minutes, one hour, 
55 minutes to, to go from Florida to the Bahamas, the cab, Atlanta to Sarasota was an hour and a half. So, I mean, this right here, that's three hours of flight time in just these two flights. We got 17, 15 times three hours. This man has paid $5,145 to fly his private jet just in these two flights. That's 15% of one of his junior dev salaries in two flights. Again, I'm not saying that the employees of PropLogix are entitled to any of this man's money. I am just, again, I'm saying the, the difference in money and the difference in lifestyle is very big. And I know if I was working there, knowing that, uh, what was yesterday? Tuesday, that my boss was in the Bahamas while I'm sitting at home in my apartment making $15 an hour, I'd be pretty pissed off about it. But hey, that's the CEO advantage, right? Let's actually count how many hours he's flown his plane since January 7th, 2021, which is as far back as I can go. So the rough estimate this man has flown is about 43 hours. So let's see how much it's cost him to fly his airplane for 43 hours. $73,573. That's two junior devs, pretty much. Like, that's privilege. Taking a 19-minute flight, he must be living a pretty good life. I did some more research on our boy Jesse Bider here, and I discovered that he owns a bunch of businesses. At least this is what comes up under the official State of Florida Division of Corporations website. He has former HN, Bider Enterprises, JMB Leasing, JMB Parent LLC, Bider Idea Vault, Bider Income Property, CJES Football, Bider DiGiovanni Financial, BD Investment Fund One, SRQ Phenom 100 Leasing LLC, hmm. SRQ King Air Leasing, SRQ Yacht Charters. So the CEO owns probably a yacht or at least does some yacht chartering. I'm not saying that he owns these businesses to business expense these things, but it would make sense if he owned businesses that business expense these things. I mean, that's what CEOs do, right? You create a business, you business expense things that you enjoy. That's, that's just what people do. I can't say that's what he's doing here, but um, SRQ Phenom 100 leasing, and he owns a Phenom 100, so maybe he leases it to himself every time he needs it for business and just writes that off with taxes. I don't, I'm, I don't know. I'm, who knows? But um, the man is definitely business savvy. The man definitely knows what he's doing, and uh, you know he's spending two grand an hour while he pays you fifteen dollars an hour. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, anyways, it doesn't look like Prop Logics has learned almost anything. They're still making cringe wrap-up videos. They're still paying their people under the market. Senior software developer for C, 55K. And they're, generally they're just balling out at the, at the cost of you. So if you can appreciate the research I put into this video, make sure to click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think down in the description below and PropLogix employees. Um, I hope this has been informative for you and thanks for the free shout out and your video. Uh, Jesse, keep on being a pilot, man. I wish I owned a, a private jet and a yacht. That would be cool. Maybe you should make a, a leasing company for exotic cars next. Business expense those. That'd be cool, right? Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much. See you in the next one.